It is 40 days till the man burns and today we're talking about the what, when, where guide and why you should kind of ignore it. So if you're a first timer, you might be itching to get your hands on it so you can see what delight Burning Man has to offer and where and when you can find them. And questions from first timers frequently pop up on forums asking, you know, what should I see? What should I definitely do? What are the best theme camps? What should I absolutely not miss? And generally it's met with kind of a non-response. And there's a good reason for that. The most wonderful thing about Burning Man is there is so much going on all of the time. There is so much going on that it is impossible to see it all and to do it all and experience it all. It's like a mystery box. You can just wander around and before you know it, you have stumbled across some fantastic adventure. If you spend the whole time with your nose in the guide, only going to those things that you specifically picked out of the guide, then you are missing out on so much potential fun. You know, you already know what you're heading out to do all the time because you found it in the guide. You know you're gonna go and do that thing. And even if you happen to come across something amazing, you know, maybe you walk past a theme camp and something really cool is going on in there and you're like, hey, I wonder what that is. Because you've got it in your head that, no, at three o'clock this thing is going on and I want to go and do that. You're probably going to ignore that cool thing and just carry on on your way. And you know, in some cases that can be great. In some cases, the thing you saw in the guide is the thing that you want to be doing. But in other cases, you might be missing out on something amazing. And I think for most people, it's better if you don't try and schedule your time at Burning Man. If you just give yourself that freedom to roam around and to see what's happening, to see if there's anything going on that takes your fancy and if there's not, then look in the guide, see if there's something in there. Also, if you're scheduling everything, there can be a tendency to overschedule because there's so much going on that you could find that you're just like cram packing your days with all this stuff you want to do and it becomes stressful and exhausting because you're not leaving yourself enough time to just relax and enjoy the moment, take a nap when you need to, or go and cycle around the player or wander around and look at art or just kind of explore the city. Even if you're someone that just absolutely loves routine, you just, you want the whole time scheduled, you want to know what you're doing every minute of every day, make sure that you are leaving some free time to just kind of relax and wind down a bit. So you don't want to completely ignore the guide, but if you are planning to kind of look through it and see what treasures Burning Man has to offer, then it's a good idea to have a notepad or something where you can scribble down anything that you just really absolutely desperately want to do. And try and go light on it, you know, don't be scheduling like your entire day and night, every single day and night. You know, just pick like a few things that you really, really want to do. That way you're just gonna have like a nice concise list of those things that you can pull out in the morning and be like, is there anything that I really want to be doing today? And you're not gonna be flipping through the guide all the time being like, I think there was something today at three o'clock, but I don't remember, where is it, what is it? And you know, and it's kind of lost in all of the other stuff and then you end up seeing some other things you want to do and before you know it, your whole day is packed with scheduled stuff again. Like I say, I'm sure for some people that, you know, scheduling everything from the guide works wonders for them, but there is a lot to be said for just leaving it up to chance. You know, jump on an art car when it goes past and see where it takes you. Or pop into that theme camp because, you know, hey, it looks like something interesting's going on in there. Go and just see what you can find, see what there is to look at and to experience and to participate in. And if you really wanna get recommendations of what are the most amazing things out there, what are the absolute must-sees, ask people when you're there, go up to someone and ask them, what is the most amazing thing that you've seen since you've been here? And then go and see that thing. You know, every year it's different. There's different theme camps, there's different art, there's different things to do, there's different things going on. And the best way to find the most amazing stuff is either to go and hunt it out yourself or to ask other people what they've managed to find. So maybe don't completely ignore the guide, you know, have a flip through it, see if there's anything interesting that takes your fancy. But try not to schedule everything, try not to turn Burning Man into some kind of organized tour. So I hope that this was helpful guys. If any of you have any like theme camps or things that are going on out there that you're like, this is my absolute favorite thing out there, you know, a lot of first timers do really want kind of some guidance on that, like what should they go and see and what is amazing. So feel free to let us know in the comments what your absolute favorite thing out there is. And you know, maybe if it's back this year, then people will know about it and they will get to go and see it. And if you see me at Burning Man this year, feel free to come and say hi to me and tell me about the most amazing thing that you've seen so that I can go and see it too. Bye guys.